right girls in this video we're going to learn how to add text onto the sides of your planter so for this video um, this is my planter and I want to add girls rule um, girls on this side and rule on the other side so uh, right here under basic shapes you will scroll down and you will find the text add-on you can go ahead and drag that over to the work plane and then this will pop up right so your text this is where you delete and you write what you want it to say uh, th these are the fonts options that you can pick from so sans and mono and serif okay so i like this one so i'll leave it here the height the height you can uh, use to adjust however we will be adjusting our dimensions based on where we want it in the planter so don't worry about the height uh, the bevel means how thick you want your letters now be careful if you thicken it too much once the printer uh, prints out the text uh, you might see that you won't be able to read it right so be careful on how thick you apply it so I will leave mine pretty separate okay pretty separate at zero the this indicates how smooth around the edges of the text you want it so I'll put it at five now once we have this you'll see that the text is laying flat I want to use the rotation arrows to stand it up so what I will do is use this one over here and this will rotate my text okay so it will rotate so give me so let me put it back at zero so I can show you guys let me undo okay so it's at zero in order to stand it up I want it to go 90 degrees so 90 degrees will stand it up okay and to flip it over it would be 180 uh, right here once you let go of the cursor it does reset so right now it's standing up it's no longer at 90 degrees it's indicating at zero so be careful there okay so now that I have it uh, I want to go ahead and add it onto my planter you'll see that uh, dimensions need to be adjusted right so we had said so this we can put it at 0.5 of deepness and considering my planter is set at 3 by 3 I want my text to be let's try 2.5 and you guys will be able to play with the dimensions just so it will fit in the planter that you design so then I put it here remember that in order to lift up the text or any design you use the cone above to raise it up okay so now it looks a little bit see this space right here this is how deep into the planter it's merging into so I want to just move it a little bit inside more uh, that looks good to me that's how much out I would like it uh, but you girls decide right so uh, right now I leveled it with my eyes only and what I want to do is make sure I align it and center it properly so I'm gonna highlight everything I'll click align and this will put it in the center you click align as well this one right here indicates that it's centering it from the middle of the planter the top to bottom so I will like it to be centered where I put it and you can just use the oh, undo you can just use the bottom dot to do that okay so it looks good now instead of adding one more text I can just copy this here using my left hand option right here where it says copy and then right next to it you will see that it says paste it will paste it just because I want the dimensions to be the same considering my planter on this side is the same length right so all I need to change is girls rule okay and now let's drag it over this way and now 
The only thing here is that now you have to rotate it a half a circle, right? So that it can be facing this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this bottom one and rotate it 180 degrees. So move it all the way to 180, perfect. And now it's, it's uh, flipped over in order for us to read it properly. So now you just go ahead and uh, merge it onto planter. Let's see, good, good. And then highlight everything, align, use this dot right here to move it to the center. And then once it's ready to go, I highlight everything and then I click group. Okay, and sure enough, this is how we'll print and we're done.